Chase this little dragon for little dragons production with the fourth episode of Celtic Warfare season 3 and today we're going to talk about the Celtic dress sword. Let's begin. So the anatomy of the weapon, here you have the blade, here you have the hilt with the pommel, grip and cross guard or in this case just the hand guard which protects a bit more than the gladius actually and then you have a leaf shaped blade with the edges, it's double edged and also it's quite blade heavy so it's balanced over here so you have the hitting point about here so it's a really good chopper it's a really good at thrusting as you could imagine as the wound opens as you thrust so let's look at the techniques they're about the same as the Celtic uh, broadsword but there are some diff different techniques with this as well so we have looked at techniques like the draw cut techniques where you have your hammer grip so you could draw cut you could do the sword casting blow and when you thrust you can ch choose between the cast thrust which can be changed into a sword casting blow on the side, other side, forward and so on then you have the normal thrust where you just move forward like when you punch someone go right forward and thrust so these are the techniques which I have shown you before so I'm not going to talk a lot about these techniques there are other techniques which I'm going to talk about which are used together with the shield and also that are used if you lose your shield the part where you lose your shield and so on will be talked about in the special episode so let's begin looking at the techniques with the shield. Alright, so now I have the shield and then I have the actual sword. The first thing we need to know is how to wield the shield with the sword. And now you see I stand in the defensive triangle stance with the shield angled in about 45 degrees to the side. I could even move it forward like this so when I cut I just follow up here I protect my hand. The most important thing is actually to protect your hand because if your enemy cuts your hand or anything like that then you could give up because you have nothing to do without the hand. So when you move forward with the normal draw cut you see I follow the shield. Same thing with the sword casting blow. Though you don't move forward here, you just go. Same thing if you're going to use the upper part of the shield. You try to protect your hand. Because sometimes you get a hit right up here, then you have to react to that. Sometimes you have to get forward here with your sword but then be ready to use a shield quickly so I have the sword here if you know there's somebody to attack that is attacking your hand you should just push it forward and it goes quite quick you pull back and push forward so you, so somewhat like this and even if the blow actually gets before you can actually punch 
the attack away from you. Actually push it away in a more aggressive manner. So at the same time you could actually go over the shield. If you have, let's say, hooked the other shield, you quickly attack. Because if you hook someone, the very important rule is he has hooked you as well. So you're stuck, which means that either you are going to pull or he's going to pull. So you have to be quick when you hook and pull. You hook, pull, attack. So we're going to look at some of these techniques with Michael over here. You have seen him before. So we're going to start to look at the techniques against the spear and then later on against the sword. If we look at the spear and he attacks me, if I don't have a shield in front of me, it's going to kill me. So if I have it like in movies over here and try to I'm dead, even though I could actually it will still it will don't he won't just stand there nicely and then I grab and then I kill him. It won't be like that, but it will be like that. So I'm dead pretty much if I don't keep the shield in front of me. So if he attacks me, then I could move in, cut his hand, thrust, but I have to be quick because otherwise he would pull back and cut my leg with a spear. These spears cut as well as thrust, so you're not safe even though the point is out of the way. It is very important for you to get behind that head. So, put away, quickly move in. Right, let's say, want to use any of my techniques. Then, so, I throw forward in this case. If I want to do the... Then I have a problem, because he's going to cut. So what I want to do is simply to get that spearhead out of the way completely. So, push away, add a cut or thrust but do it quickly because he is quick as well there's another thing you have to think about and that is if you grab the shield, spear he is going to use that advantage and with the dagger he can actually cut you so if we show that again there's a dagger ready, he thrusts, he pulls, and he cuts, and I'm dead. But if I'm quick, then I, when he pulls, I will just move forward. Simple as that. Now, let's look at against the axe. So if we put away the spear. Right now it has a small axe, so it's a Germanic axe, but it's a really fast axe. So if I try to move in, I'm dead. So what I need to do is simply to use my advantage. I actually have a longer weapon, I have a bigger shield. So what I'm going to do is keep it over here and let him hook into the shield. If he hooks into the shield with either shield or the axe, I can pull him away and then try to get a place where I can cut him. I have to be quick because you're going to use either the shield or the axe. So it's really important to move in quickly. Now, when you want to draw the weapon, let's say he, if you keep the weapon up, if you take the sword out. Right now he has the sword out and here is about who's quickest. So if I try to move in, I'm going to be there. So I can't do as he moves just to move in and attack him. I have to think of what I'm doing. So what I'm going to do is simply I'm going to back off and then move in. So he gets in. I'm already ready. Push it forward. And I already thrust him before he attacks me. It's really important who's first. It's not always about who got the technique. I might have a better technique with this weapon, but if I'm a bit slower than him, yes, kill me. 
but if I'm quicker than him, he has no chance. Suddenly. It's all about timing and so on. Sometimes you just wait for him to attack you sometimes. And you attack. As you can see, you have to move around a lot, especially when he has a spear, because if you just stand still, you're not going to be a good fighter because you're going to get a thrust almost immediately. So it's really important to move around. So I do different cuts forward and all can be protected behind a shoe. So, move around with, move, use your shield to protect your hand and as a distraction, it's really good as a distraction, if you move it around at the same time as you fight with your sword, it suddenly, it's not so easy, and suddenly attack, uh, you attack forward, you can also do that, you do the same attack and suddenly either attack from the other side, thrust, that you move down, but you have to be quick and you, you can't hesitate, you have to be at your opponent immediately. So thank you for watching, like, comment and subscribe, as always, have a nice day, cheers.